Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a boot the latest version of Kali Linux, currently version 2024.3 and Windows 10 or Windows 11. This way we get the option to boot into either Windows or Kali Linux. The only requirement is that you should have an 8GB flash drive. Now the first thing we have to do is download Kali Linux installer file and to do that let's head to our browser and then head to kali.org. Now click on the download button right here and it should take you to the download page. Now we are going to select installer images since we want to download the ISO file of Kali Linux. So let's click on it and it should take us down here. You can see Kali Linux 2024.3 change log. Now let's select the 64 bit complete offline installation with customization. So click on it and it should start downloading. I already have this file downloaded so I'm just going to cancel, the size is around 4GB. After downloading Kali Linux ISO, we also have to download Win32 Disk Imager. So search for Win32 Disk Imager and then click on the link to SourceForge. I'm also going to provide this link in the video description and then click on the download button. After downloading Kali Linux and Win32 Disk Imager, we can close our browser and then open our download folder and here we go this is Kali Linux installer file and this is Win32 disk imager now let's double click on Win32 disk imager to install agree to the terms next next now let's launch Win32 disk imager now we have to connect our flash drive which we're going to use to create a bootable disk. And then right here on that device you can see my flash drive so make sure it is selected. Now click on this browse icon right here and then locate your download folder. Come down here click on disk images right here and then select all by using the second option. So it's going to show everything right here and then we can select our Kali Linux installer ISO file right here. Open. And then we can click on write to write Kali Linux into our flash drive. Yes. Now this should take around 3 to 5 minutes. While this is running, let's partition where we intend to install Kali Linux. Now head to your search bar and then search for partition. Now click on create and format hard disk partitions. And it is going to open disk management. Now under disk management, you can see the list of all your drive. Disk 0 right here is my SSD 240 gigabytes, and that is where we are currently running Windows from. Disk 1 right here is my backup drive. Disk 2 is my M.2 and disk 3 right here is our flash drive. Now we need to partition one of our drives so we can install Kali Linux and then we can boot alongside Windows. So I could install wherever I want. I could partition this backup drive and install. I could also install on my M.2 here or, or on any other drive connected. But in this case, we are going to partition with our C drive which is the main drive containing Windows. So let's select the partition, our C partition right here with 222 gig. Right click and then shrink volume. Now set the amount of storage you want to shrink. In my case, I'm going to shrink around 50 something gigabytes for Kali Linux. And then click on shrink. And you can see we now have 54.69 gig on allocated space. Now this is the space we are going to use to install Kali Linux. So just take note of it. Now we can close disk management. And the process is completed. Now let's click on OK. Close this. Restart our PC and begin the installation. Hold F8 to show boot options. This may be different depending on the PC you are using. And in our case, we are going to boot with our UFI SanDisk flash drive, hit enter. And then we are going to hit enter to proceed with graphical install. Set a language for the installation and continue. Set a country, continue. Set a keyboard layout, continue.
set a host name if any continue domain name continue set a full name for this user set a username which you're going to use to log in and also set a password now set your time zone continue now select manual partitioning continue and then right here you can see our first drive you can also see our second drive which is our backup drive 500 gig and then you can see the drive you want to do the installation in which is our 240 gig ssd and if you look down you should see we have windows efi partition and the windows main partition and also there you can see the free space we allocated earlier so select the free space double click on it and then click on automatically partition the free space and then continue select all files in one partition and continue so it is going to automatically run the partitioning by itself and from here you can see it has automatically partitioned the drive select finish partitioning and write changes to disk continue yes to write change to the disk and continue now select the desktop environment you can go with xface gnome or kde plasma but i will just go with xface which is the default and then continue and it should start installing this should take around 20 minutes the installation is complete click on continue to restart So you can see we now have the option to boot between Windows and Kali Linux. Now let's boot into Kali Linux. Now you can log in with your username and password. And that's all basically. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.